It felt good. Uh, first beginning of the party, you could say I was a bit winded. Uh, as a uh, practice progressed, it seemed to pick up. So I look forward to next practice pretty much better than this one. So. What do you know about Australian basketball, the NBL, or the Perth Wildcats? Uh, up on it? I've watched a few games. Uh, you guys seem to be more physical. It's my type of game anyway. I like the contact. As you can see, I don't mind it uh, being a big body. I'm looking forward to pounding the paint. So. We get a few imports over here, and uh, they, they either star or they, they struggle. Um, have you got something to prove in this competition with the NBA still in your socks? Uh, no, I'm just coming over to help the team win. You know, I come over here, I'm a competitor, so I'm going to compete. And, uh, you guys, they lost a big. I'm just trying to fill his slot and do what I can get and help the team. You sound like you're, you're mixing well with your new teammates. You feel pretty comfortable after only just one session? Uh, I stick pretty well. I'm like glue. You know, I'm not going to say uh, I'm a bad person. I'm a nice guy to be around. I, I'm funny all on and off the court, you know, so far so good. So. Um, and as I say, you, you had a look at the physical nature of the NBL. Um, the standard as such, I mean, do you, do you think you can play a really good role for this team over the next month and a half? Physical is part of the game. I love the contact. Being in the paint, being a center, you, there's always contact. It's, it seems like there's a little bit more, but I'm looking forward to pounding the paint. Do you know anybody that's played in the competition uh, in the NBL? No, not really. Not really. It's my first time over. Oh, actually, there was uh, Jovan Catron. He played for... Uh, Wollongong. Yeah, the yeah. Hawks. Okay. What was the most attractive thing about coming to Australia? The weather. <laughs> <laughs> Being from Chicago, it's freezing right now. Then I uh, you know, heard about these shark attacks, so I won't be in the water, so <laughs> <laughs> I won't be in the water. What can the uh, fans expect from you this Friday night? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a competitor. I'm going to compete. You can, at the end of the day, whenever the, whatever the score is at the end, you won't say I didn't play hard. So. We struggle a little bit with dunks for the Wildcats. Could you supply a few extra dunks during a game? Uh, of course, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I can get a couple, maybe a, a couple more, a little bit more than they're used to. Get the fans <laughs> off the seats. You've travelled 30 hours, so you look pretty bright and uh, wide awake, but uh, the body will collapse, I'm sure, in the next day or so once uh, uh, jet lag wears. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go home and I'm going to eat right now and go crash. I'm not supposed to, but I'm trying to like, get a little nap, then try to stay up as much as I can during the day. Because I got in yesterday, man had a lunch, lunch with coach, and uh, I tried to stay up. I made it to like 9. And then I was up at 3, so it didn't, it didn't do too much. Then I tried to force myself to go back to sleep, and I got up at 6, and then I've just been up ever since. So. The coach said uh, you were having trouble understanding him at the moment, uh, obviously the Australian accent. Uh, it, do you think you can work on that in the next few days? Uh, he, he said something about hot tub. I thought he said hot spa, but he meant cold tub is what he said. Uh, I wouldn't say I have a problem understanding him. I just have to, you know, just pick up the accent a little bit. So if, when I start talking like you guys, don't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs>